New at four, President Trump calls for a September shutdown if Congress can't come up with an agreement on the budget. One of the big sticking points is health care. Megan Oliver breaks down what else is keeping that bill from getting enough votes. And how the president actually cut a tremendous deal for the American people. The White House calls it a good deal, but President Trump is frustrated about the compromises he had to make to get the 60 votes needed to pass a spending bill in the Senate. Tuesday, he tweeted, our country needs a good shutdown in September to fix mess. That is not the way to govern. That is not the way to come up with bipartisan compromise. That is not the way to run America. Democrats are claiming victory after blocking funding for the president's proposed wall along the Mexican border, as well as cuts to Planned Parenthood. On the other side of the hill, President Trump is personally lobbying House Republicans to get behind the latest changes to the GOP plan to repeal and replace Obamacare. We're excited about this policy. Uh, we're making very good progress with our members, and our president has been instrumental in that. A new amendment allowing states to opt out of protections for people with pre-existing conditions has won support from conservatives. They get insured like everyone else. It's just that their expenses get paid out of a different bucket, and that allows them to have coverage without driving everyone else's uh, premiums up. But some moderates say that would allow insurance companies to raise rates on people who need insurance the most. I, I just can't help but think if they took it for now, they would end up having the votes they need. CBS News has confirmed 20 House Republicans oppose the bill as it is now, with more undecided. Three more no votes would kill the bill. Meg Oliver, CBS News, Capitol Hill. And this health care bill is sure to impact hundreds of thousands of Idahoans. According to the Department of Health and Human Services, nearly 40 percent of people in the GEM state had a pre-existing condition back in 2009. These numbers were released by Close the Gap. That's a group supporting health care reform in Idaho.